guys. Go ahead with questions. In terms of uh, Atlanta team that you guys really haven't seen uh, at all, how how much have you seen on tape that, that, that is going to help you this week uh, compared to not having any notes on playing them in the past? Uh, you know, you know, seeing Cousins before, you know, the quarterback, seeing him a little bit before, some of the players a little bit of familiarity with them, you know. But, you know, really the tape's been the best thing they go off of just in terms of how they've been, you know, they're pretty, pretty efficient offense in terms of being able to run the ball. You know, the, the backs are really good. The O-line's doing a good job of working together. They got a good scheme uh, with the stretch run game. So just really going, diving into the tape and really just trying to see what they do well and what they do poorly and, you know, try to, try to combat that the correct way. But the tape's always the best. That's the best tool right there. And then any notes we might have. But some guys have gone against some of the players before. You know, the O-line, I think the O-line coach and the running backs coach, they're still the same uh, from the staff before. So, you know, you can see the continuity they have in the run game. You can definitely see that. And I think the OC, Zach, Zach yeah, he's doing a good job um, with those guys. And then Raheem, he, he's one of the best in the league, in my opinion, just in terms of over the years, you know, when he was at Tampa. then. He's at Atlanta before, moves over to offense, goes to Rams, gets that defense going. So they got a pretty good go coaching staff, and you can see you can see the vision of the what they're trying to build right there. Who's the backs? Um, I know you've seen it before, but when you have two such dramatically different players mm -hmm. uh, that can do so many different things, how much of a challenge is that for them? Too? It's definitely a challenge. You know, you start with, <laughs> I mean, the speed and the combination of size, and I know they're different, but like. There's definitely a size element to both of them. There's definitely a speed element, you know, one more than the other. But, again, they do such a good job with their scheme in terms of that stretch run game, in terms of the outside zone. You know, those guys, they, they're finding holes. They're, they're, they're well coached. But the challenge is, you know, just trying to get them on the ground. But it starts with dealing with the offensive line because they're playing well together right now as you look at it. Coach, three turnovers in Tampa in the first half. When you watch tape, is there one thing you can pinpoint to why there's such an influx? Just think guys were hungry for the ball. You know, we keep talking about it, you know, you know, just in terms of the lack of turnovers, you know, not necessarily the lack of attempts, but guys, you know, just say, just stay at it, stay at it this time of year and just try to get the ball off them. And thankfully we got some uh, some turnover opportunities last week and we took advantage of it and then try to build off of that this week. Bernie was one of those guys who had the forced fumble and he's had, you know, some more snaps getting to him week by week. Mm -hmm. You know, what has he done just throughout the week to really earn those opportunities? And do you think you'll see more? It, it, it starts with, you know, the skill set. He, he's a very, um, he has good short space, short space quickness. Um, he has good play speed. A lot of times with those younger players at the second level and the third level, you know, what I've seen throughout the league, you know, guys getting those, those reps on special teams and then eventually they start to flourish when they get in there on the defensive side of the ball or the offensive side of the ball. So he's taking advantage of that. And, you know, Mike's doing a good job of grooming, grooming him and along with Tom on special teams. And you're starting to see him grow into himself as an NFL football player, especially at that position, the linebacker position. Because, you know, you look back at his college tape, a lot of times he was on the line of scrimmage. So it was, just, it was just a little different. And you see him growing into it. One thing I could make note of is he's real studious in the classroom. He's always asking questions, you know. If he doesn't understand exactly what I'm saying, he'll, he'll, he is, he's not afraid to ask, and I, I appreciate that, especially for a young player, because you know sometimes, you know my year, my experience, they could be intimidated. You know, I don't want to ask the coordinator, but he has no problem asking that. Yeah, what are some things that go into when you decide uh, to call a blitz or not call a blitz? Uh, does the quarterback's mobility or lack of mobility play a part in that at all? Um, well, now in the league, you're dealing, they're all mobile for the most, <laughs> for the most part. Um, Really, it's about the timing of it. You know, like you go into the game week, you have a game plan. Okay, you're anticipating this for first and 10, P and 10, get back on track, whatever it may be. And the first call might be the, hey, we're going to blitz at the start. Um, then from there, okay, that might have been a setup for something else. So there's a lot of things that go into play. And then obviously, you got to take into account the personnel in terms of whether it's the quarterback, do they struggle versus it? You know, look at the statistics on that. Then you look at, okay, how's the O-line? Are they good at passing it off? Are they going to allow you to? Are they a protection team? So a lot of things go into play for that. But, and then once you get in the game, it's got to be, you know, it's educated guesses, I guess. You want to say that? But, like, there, sometimes there has to be a feel for when you go to the pressure. And sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong. And, you know, next play mentality, you, you, you know, you get paid to be right more than wrong. So that's, 
that's the thing. So. Going cool. back to running backs, you talked about the duo, but Bijan in particular, just what makes him unique and, and tough for us? It's me, he's tough to tackle. Whether you're talking about open space, let's start there. Open space, he's going to make the first guy miss. I mean, I, I just haven't seen much tape that doesn't suggest that. So we got to do a great job of leveraging the ball carrier, trying to force him to our help. But his ability, you know, to cut on a dime and make the first guy miss, that's pretty impressive for me. Then the thing when you see him on this stretch run game, when he stays on track, he's able to break arm tackles. You, we got to get big bodies in front of him. You know, just to think of arm tackle, I mean, they're, they're too, both of them are too big. The arm tackle thing's not going to work. So you got you to talk about playing with extension, violent shed, get the big bodies in front of them to try to get them down. Coach, last week. Uh, look at the past uh, week, but what stood out to you in terms of a slow start in Tampa that you guys didn't maybe get corrected this week? I mean, it, it starts with me. I mean, it, it starts with me just, you know, Looking at going back through it, you know, some some calls, I'm like, you know, had some real good plays. I mean, they did a good job. I mean, I, I thought, you know, Liam, I believe he did he did a really good job with his opening script, and, you know, it was pretty good. And then, thankfully, the guys got going, and I, I did a better job as it been going. It got going, but, you know, it, start, it starts with me. I, the slow start, I, 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 again, I'm responsible for the defense. It's my responsibility to have them ready. I, I wouldn't say the players weren't ready. Really just starts with me. Just I gotta be more. Of my, I gotta I got be better. I gotta be better. Coach, last week uh, I asked you about what challenge you know Mike Evans presents as a receiver. Mm -hmm. The Falcons have another receiver, Drake London, who has kind of the same similar attributes. When you try to you know game plan against Drake Drake London, is it kind of similar or is it a completely different animal? Uh, they 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 got. I mean, just like Tampa Bay had a few receivers. I mean, Mooney is. I mean, he's really playing well. I mean, I, I just he stands out too. So, but. They got two, you know, pretty dynamic receivers with McLeod in there. I mean, like they got, you know, the game plan is it similar. There might be certain elements, you know, big target, you know, where he aligns and things of that nature. They move them around a little bit, but they're two different players. I hate, you know, one's going to be a Hall of Famer, one's early in his career. I always hate comparing them. I, I don't think that's fair to the kid, but, um, I mean, it's a big body, so, you know, one thing you got to try to disrupt, you know, you got to be physical at the catch point. They're going to be physical at the catch point, but there, there could be similarities. There could be similarities. A lot of times we talk about, excuse me, turnovers just coming when a guy just does his job. Everybody does their job, turnovers come. But sometimes does it take a play like Kalevon made of just like recognizing the play, going and making like a really athletic play, just doing something? That's the beauty of having a smart player like KC there. He did his job. He did his job. You know, the veer, tap, the veer release by the tackle, he felt it, the down and distance, he had awareness of that. You're talking about a guy who's a smart player. I mean, like when we evaluated him coming out of college, he was a smart player. So he takes in the scouting report information. I mean, you, you could talk to him to find out exactly what he's thinking there. But in terms of me as a coach watching it, him reading his keys, the tackle veer released, there was like a you know a, 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 like a, a bunch set out there. Quarterback picked up. I mean, he 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 did his job by reading his keys and executing. And I'm sure there was a mental. Uh, element to it because he, had, he played with so much awareness right there. So, I mean, it is part of him doing his job. Sometimes the turnovers fall into your lap, but that was him doing his job right there. How, how happy does that make you as a coach as, you know, the work you guys put in, you film study and everything else, and a player puts it in a that, 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 I'm always excited about that. Just the thing, more, the thing I'd be more excited about is getting the win. That's the, that's the, I, I just want these guys to reap the, the benefits of all the hard work and all the, you know, stuff I ask them to do. You know, it's just, you gotta get a win for these guys, man. They do. They do everything I ask them to do. You know, they work hard. They play hard. They're here. They're attentive. You know, we just gotta figure out. We gotta get a win for them so they can reap the rewards of all their their, their um, work. That's what that's what I'm looking for. That'll be the hap that, I'll be the happiest there. What, what have you seen from your guys in terms of continuing to respond and, and fight every week? They, they, you know, it's the guys we bring in here. You know, real dudes. You know, real guys, real men. We got good leadership. You know. And guys play hard. They love. They appreciate the game. You know, we talk about loving the game, appreciating the game. They value the game. They value every snap. This, I mean, because once you hang it up, you're done. You can't play pickup football. So I think they. Va I know they value uh, playing football. So I wouldn't expect anything less from them. That's all set. Thank you.